Growing up, I had some experience when it came to making projects inside of games. I used to build games on mainly Roblox, a little experience with Blunder, but nothing amazing or even close to finish. When the global pandemic hit at the end of 2019, I found myself playing Counter-Strike a lot with my brothers and their friends. So, with any project, you usually have some sort of inspiration. In this case, it was a YouTuber named 3 Clicks Philip, as well as some inspiration from another YouTuber named as The War Owl. Each YouTuber made very interesting videos of their own maps. Each map was very different with 3 Clicks Philip's DE Sparity, with its beautiful snowy surrounding mountains, with the church and factory covering the whole map. I really can appreciate the time that goes into maps because it is more than a map. It's a form of artwork from the developer that required hours and weeks and even months of tinkering, planning, and adjusting. Philip really wanted his map to play good, then wanted his visuals on the map to come second. He described this thoroughly inside of his playlist of, of the making of his map. The second map series I got influenced by was the War Owls map, DE Amigo. Throughout the entire series, he really cared about the map and showed its appreciation for the game. He also explains how it is very difficult to make something truly great and how it takes years of experience, which is why the War Owl never added any fancy visuals in his map and just wanted it to play well. He knew he wanted his map to play good instead of focusing on the setting of the map. He didn't care about that, which is why he just went with the default texturing. This is the reason why I decided to go with the most simple map design layout for my first map. I knew I wasn't going to be able to make something amazing right off the bat, so I wanted to just start off small. My map has three simple lanes leading straight to each bomb site. There are two super basic connectors that lead into the middle of the map. I do not take this map seriously and compare it to any of the YouTubers I watch for inspiration. Those maps took weeks of carefully thought out gameplay testing and tweaks and weeks of adjusting and fixing. This map was really just a personal challenge I set out for myself to see if I could actually do it. While being in online school this semester, I thought back to 3 Clicks Phillips videos and was thinking if I should try making a map in Counter-Strike. I kept seeing videos of these maps and I thought in my mind that I could create something similar. I would be satisfied with a very simple diffuse map that I could say I created. So I decided to take action and just do it because I know how happy I would be that I finally got around to making a basic map in one of my all time favorite games. You know that feeling when you finally accomplish something? That was the feeling when I finally completed my map. It was something pretty small and crappy to most people, but in my eyes, I made it and I was happy. I have a couple of hours of footage of the making of my map on my computer. Without wasting time showing exactly how the map was built, it was pretty straightforward. I included some background footage of me building the map to skip a lot of the boring parts. I wanted to make this video to show off my map and to hopefully inspire some of you to start something maybe you always wanted to do, but never thought you could. I found enjoyment in making this map because of the process of building it. The overall process of making the map took maybe 6 hours, but there was a bug at the time that broke with lighting on view models and would make my arms and knife go pitch black like there was a big shadow over a room. That bug was something with the engine and was fixed a couple of days later. I have learned a lot about map making, but it is just a start. I hope one day I am able to make a community map with great visuals gameplay, and all the stuff that goes into making a good map. I had a lot of problems when making the map. I still have not figured out how many units high my ceiling should be, and my map feels like it's made out of paper with no dimension to the walls. On the B site, there also are about six different pillars you can hide behind without being seen, creating problems for retaking the site. Overall, issues like that should be avoided when creating any map, and will be in my future projects. Will I make more maps in the future? Yes, definitely. And it won't be a basic three lane layout. It will be something that comes from my imagination and something that I take seriously. I guess the overall meaning of this video is not how wonderful my map is, how my map is better than the rest, or how it has a chance of winning any competition. This video doesn't have anything to do with how amazing DE Alter is, but rather is to prove to you that anyone can make a map with a decent enough computer. But you may not ever make a great map. I was able to complete this map with the help of this awesome tutorial by the channel Eagle One Development Team that you should check out if you are too interested in making your first Counter-Strike 2 map. The link to my workshop map as well as the video from the Eagle One Development Team will be in the description of this video if you would like to test it out. Thank you to the Eagle One Development Team for making an easy to follow tutorial and thank you guys for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and peace out.